So as the uh, convention for the Democratic Party gets closer and closer, um, and arguments peel back, and it becomes clearer and clearer that um, there's going to be a fight at the convention, the media is throwing out as much shit as it can to see what's going to stick. Now, I'm, I'm talking about how um, the media wants to take Clinton out, um, and, and they do. Um, but, I mean, it, it, they, they got to get rid of Sanders first, right? Um, I think that... Uh, see, I, I would have initially suggested that Clinton was kind of left to fend for herself against Sanders, and there might have actually been people hoping Sanders would beat her. Um, I think at this point, Sanders has outperformed um, any reasonable expectation, um, and certainly the kind of people that would be um, hoping that he beat her. Um, it, it, it would have been with very low expectations for Sanders, right? The idea would be that uh, you could go after him as a communist. Um, I, I think that um, these are people that would ne have never taken Bernie Sanders seriously, right? They would have seen him as a joke candidate. Um, the evidence um, is uh, dispelling that um, fairly clearly. Um, and I mean, he, he has to be, before you can go after Clinton, you have to get rid of Sanders first, right? Because if going, I mean, if taking Clinton out means that Sanders is running, uh, they, they, they've cut their nose off, right? So, I mean, that, that's got to be the the hierarchy from what, they're, from what they're looking at, right? So, I mean, they're... In a sense, the longer that Sanders, um, you know, pull, pulls this on, the longer that Clinton um, is going to have, right? It's almost like he's buying her time. If Sanders was, wasn't in the race, the media sh coverage would have already shifted. Right, they'd, they'd be they'd be lacing into Clinton as hard as they can, because Trump is the guy they want. But they have to hold off on it because they got to make sure that Sanders doesn't manage to win. But there's a new kind of narrative that, that they're building up here, right? Um, I've seen this in a few different sources. It's the, it's the media party's new nonsense. What they're saying is if there weren't super delegates, Clinton would only need 50% of pledged delegates to win, so she would only need half of the 40 51 pledged delegates, which is 2026, 20, which means she's pretty close. It's entirely circular logic, of course, right? The party rules are that she needs 58% to win, not 50% to win. If it were true that the party set the threshold of 50%, then that's what she would need. If they set it at 30%, then that's what she would need. They can set it at whatever they want. There's nothing magical about the number 50. Right? 51% does not, you know, magically confer some sort of legitimacy. And in fact, in the United States, 51% is largely meaningless. You need more like 60% to do anything. They very obviously did not set it at 51%. They set it at 58%. It wasn't some kind of accident. It's not a mistake. They set it there for a reason. Of course, if they had set it at something else, then... But, I mean, that's, this is the circularity of it, right? And they will trick people. See, the trick is that what they're doing is they're setting a pledged delegate as equal weight to an unpledged delegate. I, nobody would make that argument under any other circumstance. Even this circumstance, nobody wants to make that argument. Really. Nobody's going to uphold that. Nobody at any point. No media pundit. No Clinton surrogate. Nobody is going to actually say to your face that a, a pledged delegate and an unpledged delegate are of equal value. But that's that that's the argument that they're making. You have to take that ridiculous and elitist position 
to make sense of their argument and to take the circular logic away. But that it is itself a contradiction because you're trying to argue for, you know, 50, 50 plus 1 democracy by arguing that a, uh, an unpledged delegate has equal value to a pledged delegate. It's an absolute contradiction that, that collapses under the weight of its own contradictions. Amplify the contradictions? Well, there you go, right? I really think people just need to deal with it. The Democratic Party consciously set a threshold higher than 50%. It's not some accident. It's not a mistake. They did that on purpose because they wanted a strong candidate. Because, in fact, that strengthens the process. It makes it harder to win. And that's a positive. But it's Hillary Clinton, so she gets special treatment. They set the rules up to make it hard to win, and then she can't do it, so they forget the rules. She's failed to meet the minimum threshold to win in the first round, okay? Let's just state it. Let's be clear. She's a weak candidate, and she didn't get there. And the way that the process was set up and should function is that the convention with the superdelegates should therefore be seen as round two. Now, that doesn't mean that's what's going to happen, right? Everybody knows that they're going to walk into the convention and the superdelegates are going to overwhelmingly pick Clinton, right? Because, because Sanders is a socialist. He's too, you know... It could be the dumbest political decision people have made in a century, right? When was the last time something that stupid happened in American politics? Let's see here. What was an absolutely boneheaded decision? You know, I'm not even sure I can think of anything. You might have to go back to, like, the Civil War before you can find something as stupid as that, right? But this was going to happen. And, and, and Sanders should make them do it. Right? He should make them put their dunce caps on and, and waltz around in them. But the actual process of a two-rounded system where you have a, a hard threshold to meet and then you have a secondary process, nothing could possibly be more American than that if you actually understand what that means. Like I said, this happens at both houses all the time. There's an idea called a supermajority that prevents a veto. The United States is not 50% plus one. Nowhere, anywhere in the system. So it's a, it's, it, it's a circular argument. Um, but it's what the media party does. And uh, there'll be lots of that. Get used to it.